Hey guys, this is Steven here with another video on how to play some of my favorite puzzles. This one is on Chess Sudoku. It's a variant to regular Sudoku that includes some extra restrictions on where certain digits can be placed. Just like in regular Sudoku, each row, column, and 3x3 box must contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. The first variant I'll go over is the Knights variant. In the Knights variant, digits can't be within a Knights move away from one another. And what I mean by that is a knight in the game of chess moves in an L-shaped pattern where it goes up two and then over one or over two and then up one. So for instance, we look at this six, this six could not be uh, in these three cells, which is a knight's move away, right? If we go up two over one or over two and up one or down one and over two, so you can see what I mean by a knight's move away. So what I'll do is I'll kind of show you a little bit of how this puzzle would unravel, just so you could kind of get a feel for it. So first things first, let's look at the ones. We can see the ones are in this column and this column. And so we need to have a one in one of these three cells, where there's a one on that bottom row. So the one would be in one of these two cells. Uh, for regular Sudoku, but we notice there is a one over here and so a knight's move away would be right there, right? Over one and down two. So that must leave just this cell alone to be the one. Now if we look at the twos, you can see there's a two in that column and that column in the bottom box and the middle box. So what that does is that leaves these three cells for the two but we know that this bottom left one can't be a two because it's a knight's move away, right? Up one and over two. So that just leaves these two cells as a two. I don't know which one's which, so I would just pencil it in like that. If we look at threes, um, we can see that there's a three here in this column. And Normally, in, in regular Sudoku, you'd say, well, that's not enough information for us to really know because it could be in one of these four. But with the knights move away, the knight could move to this box or it could move to that box, right? Down two over one, that L shape. So we know that the three can't be in this cell. We know the three can't be in that cell and the three can't be in that cell. So therefore, it must be on this top row here. So I would pencil that in. Again, I don't know which cell has a three, uh, but I know it's on the top row. And usually when I re you know, deduce it down to two cells, I'll pencil it in. Now, if we look at fours, fours we're gonna be able to uh, solve pretty easily. We can look here, uh, there's a four missing in this bottom right box, so we can pencil that in. And then we look at the fours uh, in that column and that column that just leaves these two cells here. But again, we look at this four, knights move away, down two over one, it can't be in this cell. So that only leaves this middle left cell. So there's that. And now we can see that if we look to the next group of fours, we can see that there's gonna be a four in this bottom three cells, but we know there's a four already in that column. So now it's just these two cells. And again, a four being a knight's move away, it can't be in that cell. So that leaves just this cell alone. And then we can do the same thing, keep going. So we have fours in these two columns. Uh, these boxes are taken care of. And then, so that's, there's gotta be a four in one of these three cells. There's already a four over here. So that takes away that one. And so we know uh, four has got to be in one of these two. But I think we can figure out this column here. If we look at the fours, it takes those columns. And so there's got to be a four in one of these two. But again, a knight's move away. The four can't be in this bottom one, so it's got to be there. And then that solved this one and so forth. And you keep going. So. Just like a regular Sudoku, but just with a few extra rules. So another variant, uh, other than the Knight's variant, is the Queen's variant, or you can call it a Bishop's variant, where digits can't be on the same diagonal. 
Now, a lot of times uh, you'll see that they'll choose the digit nine to be indicated as the queen. So in the knight's variant, all the digits followed that rule that it couldn't be a knight's move away. But in a lot of queen's variants, they'll say, oh, just the nines can't be uh, a diagonal away. So if we look at a different puzzle here, um, that has the queen's variant saying that nines can't be uh, on the same diagonals, we can look at, there's a nine in these bottom two rows, right? Just like that. So we know that there must be a nine somewhere here, but we know can't be in this cell because the nine's covering that diagonal. And it can't be in this cell because that diagonal is covered by that nine. So therefore the nine must be there. And so you can kind of see how it's a little bit of fun. It's, it's again, a lot like a normal Sudoku, but has that extra added layer um, of, of fun. Now, one last chess variant is the king's variant, where a digit or digits, all of them, can't be a king's move away from one another. A king moves in chess uh, one square in any direction. So if we look at this five, for instance, Normally in, in the regular game of Sudoku, you'd say a five can't be in that three by three box, row or column. But with the king's variant, you can also cross out this box, this box, and this box because it's one square away. So if we highlight it like that, maybe that's a little bit easier to see. Or this nine, for instance, you, it wouldn't be able to be in any of those squares because it's one square adjacent in, in any direction. So if we look at, uh, say, for instance, this 4, the 4 would not be able to be in these two cells. Or in a regular game of Sudoku, that's a possibility. So it's a lot of fun. In regular Sudoku, you need at least 17 digits pre-filled in order to solve the puzzles. In these variants, you can typically start off with fewer clues um, since they have this added restriction. With all that said, I think it's a great puzzle. If you enjoy doing regular Sudokus, but you're looking for a new challenge, I definitely recommend giving this one a shot. If you liked what you saw here in this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks everyone, have a good day.